hey guys so today i'm here to do a barnes and noble book haul so as you know i've been doing my reading challenge for 2019 i'm really trying hard this summer to knock out a lot of books um but i decided to get some new ones because i wanted to it's a problem um plus i found the world of booktube and i'm slightly obsessed like a whole separate part of youtube dedicated to people who read and all these different books mmm so exciting anyway so I only got I got five different books so I just decided that I was just gonna go through my Goodreads I think I have like 50 60 books on there that I want to read and I still have probably 10 to 15 books at my house that I have not read yet that I've just been hoarding but I just decided I'm just going to go through that list and then like sprinkle these ones in because they're very like self-help and like I can't read self-help for the next 15 books that I have. So um, I got five books. I just went at the top and went down so I can just I thought that was the easiest way than me picking what books I wanted. So I'm just going to show you what books I got and read the little synopsis about them and yeah. So the first book I got is Towers Falling by Jewel Parker Rhodes and I saw this on a teacher Instagram account. I think I have mentioned it here on my channel before but I am in college to be a teacher so I really have a soft spot for children's literature, middle grades, um, books and things like that. So this is um, I think that teacher that I saw it on is third grade and he had read it with his class and I had added it to my list right away. But this is about 9-11. So it says, a story of resilience, hope, and finding yourself in a complicated world. For fifth grader Deja, it's tough enough starting school in a new neighborhood. Projects about her home and family only highlight how different she is from her classmates. But when Deja receives an assignment on the two towers missing from the skyline out their classroom window, she sets off on a journey of discovery. With new friends Ben and Sabine by her side, Deja learns more about who she is, how her community can grow and heal, what happened on September 11, 2001, and what it means to be an American. So I'm very excited about this. So excited. So there's that. Um, so definitely something that I can keep and put into my classroom library. So I'm definitely going to read that at some point. And this next one is also a book that I would is for elementary middle school i'm not really sure what grade level but it's fine it's not that important right now and it's making bombs for hitler yet again something i saw i think all of these books actually literally every one of these books are books that i saw someone read on instagram a while back so this is making bombs for hitler a novel by marcia for chuck scribe pooch, pooch. I don't know. i'm really bad at pronouncing names sometimes so this is about World War II, obviously, and um, I'll read the little thing on the back. And if I pronounce their names wrong, I'm sorry. Okay, we're going to go with Lida, L-I-D-A. I'm going to go with that. Lida thought she was safe. Her neighbors wearing the yellow star were all taken away, but Lida is not Jewish. She will be fine, won't she? But she cannot escape the horrors of World War II. Lida's parents are ripped away from her, and she's separated from her beloved sister, the Nazis take Lita to a brutal work camp where she and other Ukrainian children are forced into backbreaking labor. When Lita is assigned, is assigned to make bombs for the German army, she can't stand the idea of helping the enemy. Then she has an idea. What if she sabotages the bombs and the Nazis? Can she do so without getting caught? And if she's freed, will she ever find her sister? Hmm. That's very interesting. I don't know that I actually read the little synopsis about it. Huh interesting super excited about that um yeah so there's that book yet again something else that i will put into my classroom library okay now these next three just sort of random um this one i saw on instagram as well i don't i'm just gonna keep saying that because i saw all of these this is 12 ways your phone is changing you by tony Rinke. i don't know if that's how you pronounce his last name but this is a christian based book um about the um Ex use of your phone so this says do you control your phone or does your phone control you within a few years of its unveiling the smartphone had become part of us fully integrated into the daily patterns of our lives never offline always within reach we now wield in our hands a magic wand of technological power we have only begun to grasp but it raises new enigmas too 
Never more connected, we seem to be growing more distant. Never more efficient, we have never been more distracted. Drawing from the insights of numerous thinkers, public stud published studies, and his own research, writer Tony Rinke identifies 12 potent ways our smartphones have changed us, for good and bad. Rinke calls us to cultivate wise thinking and healthy habits in the digital age, encouraging us to maximize the many blessings, avoid the various pitfalls, and wisely wield the most powerful gadget of human connection ever unleashed. And I went ahead and looked at the uh, chapter titles and just listen to this. We are addicted to distraction. Chapter 1. We ignore our flesh and blood. Chapter 2. We crave immediate approval. Chapter 3. We lose our literacy. Chapter 4. We feed on the produced. Chapter 5. We become what we like. Chapter 6. We get lonely. Chapter 7. We get comfortable in secret vices. Chapter 8. We lose meaning. Chapter 9. We fear missing out. Chapter 10. We become harsh to one another. Chapter 11. And chapter 12. We lose our place in time. And if that's saying something about what this book, how this is going to be, because those are all very accurate saying so so excited about this um i definitely would love to not be on my phone as much as i am but it's a problem like it's just so i'm gonna read this hopefully i can get something from that and make some changes the next one was sort of an impulse purchase i'd seen somebody read this and i really I hadn't really looked into it that much but i just decided to pick it up to be honest i think i picked it up to get free shipping Maybe not, but this is Where the Crawdads Sing by Delia Owens. I love the cover. So cute. So this says, how long can you protect your heart? For years, rumors of the Marsh Girl have haunted Barkley Cove, a quiet town on the North Carolina coast. So in late 1969, when handsome Chase Andrews is found dead, the local local the locals immediately suspect kaya clark the so-called marsh girl but kaya is not what they say sensitive and intelligent she has survived for years alone in the marsh that she calls home finding friends in the goals and lessons in the sand then the time comes when she yearns to be touched and loved when two young men from town become intrigued by her wild beauty kaya opens herself to a new life until the unthinkable happens perfect for fans of Barbara Kingsolver and Karen Russell, Where the Crawdads Sing is at once an exquisite ode to the natural world, a heartbreaking coming-of-age story, and a surprising tale of possible murder. Owens reminds us that we are forever shaped by the children we once were and that we are all subject to the beautiful and violent secrets that nature keeps. So I think this is interesting. Apparently Reese Witherspoon likes this book. <laughs> but yeah, so... I'm excited about that one. That sounds very interesting and pretty good. Okay, so I think, to be honest, this one is the one I'm most excited about. <sighs> I've been waiting to read this and get this in my hands. I'm so excited. I've heard that it's very frustrating and it makes people mad, but hopefully I can make it through without getting too annoyed about it. <laughs> but this is Educated, a memoir by Tara or Tara Westover. I'm so excited excited like i'm just gonna read this to you it makes me sad but then it's like i don't know tara we're gonna go with tara i think that's how you pronounce it tara westover was 17 the first time she set foot in a classroom like what like mm. <sighs> the teacher in me born to survivalists in the mountains of idaho she prepared for the end of the world by stockpiling home canned peaches and sleeping with her head for the heels bag in the summer she stewed herbs for her mother a midwife and healer and in the winter she salvaged metal in her father father's junkyard her father distrusted the medical establishment so tara never saw a doctor or nurse gashes and concussions even burns from explosions were all treated at home with herbalism the family was so isolated from mainstream society that there was no one to ensure the children received an education and no one to intervene when an older brother became violent. When another brother got himself into college and came back with news of the world beyond the mountain, Tara decided to try a new kind of life. She taught herself enough mathematics, grammar, and science to take the ACT and was admitted to 
Brigham Young University. There she studied psychology, politics, philosophy, and history, learning for the first time about pivotal world events like the Holocaust and the Civil Rights Movement. Her quest for knowledge transformed her, taking her over oceans and across continents to Harvard and to Cambridge University. Only then would she wonder if she traveled too far, if there was still a way home. Educated is an account of the struggle for self-invention. In, self it is a tale of fierce family loyalty and of the grief that comes of serving, severing one's closest ties. With the acute insight that distinguishes all great writers, Westover has crafted a universal coming-of-age story that gets to the heart of what an education what what an education is and what it offers the perspective to see one's life through new eyes and the will to change it <sighs> i'm so excited to read this like i want to open it right now and read it i'm so excited okay so i just want to come on here and show you those new books i got hopefully you will see them all being read in my reading challenge update here in a little bit <laughs> i have made some progress through that so that's good that i did because that was sort of being not very reading anything <laughs> anyway i hope you guys enjoyed this video let me know of any book recommendations that you guys have for me for when i make any future pur purchases and i'll talk to you guys in my next video